Hi, I'm Dr. Kishan. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about vertebral body tethering. So vertebral body tethering is an interesting, fairly new concept on how to use the body's growth to help correct a deformity. So here you actually have a patient of mine who's had a standard fusion for scoliosis surgery. You can see that she had a fairly large uh, right thoracic uh, scoliosis, which has been nicely corrected. And this was done in a person who has already completed a growth. So the role of vertebral body tethering is to operate at an earlier time in a child's life when there is ample growth still present so as to use that growth and correct the deformity. So how are we going to do that? So imagine that we have access to the vertebral bodies. The vertebral bodies are that part of the spine that's in the front of the spine. So assuming that there was a patient like this who had a curve and these are the vertebral bodies and we go in and put in screws into these vertebral bodies. So obviously this means that if it's the curve that's in the chest like in this patient this would mean making little openings in the chest and using a scope and putting those screws into those vertebral bodies. And then after we put those screws and check them and make sure they're in the right place, then we put a flexible cord connecting all these screws like so. And then though that cord is then tensioned so that the curve is slightly corrected with that cord in place. So looking something like this. So, so maybe it would look like this after the cord has been tensioned. And now we do this and the kid goes home and the next thing all we do is wait for the child to grow. So as the child grows, you can imagine that this side cannot grow because this cord constrains the growth or limits the growth on the convexity. However, the other side is allowed to grow and so as the child continues to grow, you can imagine that the curve will gradually correct itself. So this is the concept. This is what vertebral body tethering can do. Now why do this over a fusion? A fusion has metal rods as you can see here. The tether does not have metal rods. The tether is a flexible device. So it theoretically maintains the mobility. And it probably has its greatest application not so much in the thoracic spine, where it does have some, but probably in the lumbar spine, which is the spine of the lower back, which is where most of our mobility is. So people ask, uh, now if the fusion is done towards the end of growth, then when can one do a tethering? So the difference is that tethering is done earlier. Now we do use a uh, staging uh, classification for growth using the left hand x-ray. And we'd like them to be early in what we call the Sanders staging. So I'd prefer that they are a Sanders 3 or so. It's uh, something that we see and uh, calculate on x-rays that we get when patients come in to see us. So unlike the fusion, and like I've said before, this is an operation that is done earlier when the child still has growth remaining. 